You stop it right now. You do not make a child. Sometimes villagers really annoy me. Perfect. We do it on purpose. Oh, villager, you irritate me. No! <gasps> XD. Dang it. <laughs>it going i hope you're having a wonderful super awesome day <laughs> switched up my intro there a little bit <laughs> but today we have a lot to get done i'm very excited about it we have our our guys hanging out over here i've gotten everybody to their cheapest prices so yeah actually this villager has turned out to be quite useful so you are no longer my least favorite also uh, I don't know how this happened, but our horse ended up in the garden. But I've been getting some name suggestions. Multiple people wanted to name this guy Bones. And then one of the comments said Mr. Bones. And I just thought that fit very well. So that's what we are going to call this horse today. I have names for all of my other uh, villagers as well that you guys have suggested. So we're going to do that today as well. And because I have leveled up my a librarian villager i am able to buy name tags now which is beautiful very very handy there you go mr bones i will get i promise i'll make you a home soon because this is just not the place to be i know you could have a better home than that okay so next we need to go and buy more name tags so which which one of you is it i think it's you yeah, I haven't gotten you all the way down to zero yet, but we have a lot of emeralds so far, so I think we're okay. So we're gonna name six librarians today. Not sure if that's all of my librarians, but if you guys have any more suggestions, I will be getting more villagers as time passes, so I would love more names for my villagers. Okay, so for our farmers, we have Billy and, and, okay, excuse me. Fred the Farmer. Billy and Fred the Farmer. They're a lovely couple. And we have Lewis. Lewis is going to be one of our librarians. Lewis. So I'm thinking... Let's see. Oh, shoot. I guess that's Lewis. I accidentally gave that one Lewis. So there we are. <laughs> it's fine. So Jerry is going to be our mending villager. And then we have... Sarah, our stonemason, <laughs> and Frankie the Fletcher. <laughs> so yeah, some of them have names. Not all of the villagers have names just yet, uh, but I think that's a good start. So if you guys have any more suggestions, let me know down below. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to do today, uh, which I think I have to go mining for, dang it. We had to go mining for just a quick sec because I need coal. I have no coal left. And I need coal because I need to make a campfire. Oh, also there's a giant hole right there because I was collecting granite so I could trade with Sarah. <laughs> I'll have to fix that later. There. Okay, so we now have enough coal. So we are going to head back and build something. Okay, campfire. That is what we need. The other thing that we need is some sort of trap door. So this one should work. And then the plan is to remove this lock from underneath here and place this. And so that our bees don't get hurt, we are going to place this there. I don't know how that doesn't end up burning, but you know, here we are. It's fine. <laughs> now we are able to harvest without getting attacked by the bees, which is amazing because now we can make candles, which I think is so exciting because I think they're so cute to decorate with. But to do that, we need some string. We don't have a ton of string, which is quite unfortunate but also a reason why we are going to uh, make a spider spawner later on. So we have a bit of a couple candles and I kinda just wanna find a good spot for them. Maybe right here. Or, or, there. Now, oh, cute, I love it. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is some of the enchanting I've done. I didn't wanna do it super like on camera because you know, everybody knows what 
it looks like to enchant and I've already enchanted in previous episodes. So what I've done so far is I have my helmet. This one has uh, aqua infinity protection unbreaking mending. I think that's pretty good. Then we have our protection for mending unbreaking for our chest plate. Pretty good as well. Same thing with our pants. And then our shoes have uh, protection three, not the best, but you know, it's fine. Depth strider unbreaking and mending. And so we obviously need feather falling as well as, is that it? I think that might be it. And then respiration on our helmet would be great. I did update both of these. So this one has efficiency on breaking and mending. This one has efficiency, fortune, mending, unbreaking. And then I have this one, which has silk touch as well as efficiency and unbreaking, which is perfect because if you actually use a silk touch ax and you harvest this, it comes out as an entire melon, which actually is much more profitable than just getting the melon slices. Oh yeah, another thing that we're able to do if we do get that, um, what's it called? Uh, the spider spawner is we'll be able to actually trade with one that I called my least favorite last episode, which I completely take back. I'm very, very sorry, Frankie, that I said that. I can trade them strength. So that's awesome because I can get rich on that. You know, I can make 10 emeralds right now off 10 string. That's crazy. If I have a spider spawner, not only can I get all of my points so that I can, you know, mend all my things and, and enchant stuff and, and name things and whatever I need to do, but I can also sell it and be rich, which is always fun. Let's actually do some right now with these farmer villagers. Uh, there we go. Oh, thank you so much, friend. Much appreciated. So anyway, we are going to head over to the spider spawner and hopefully be able to build a nice spider spawner thingy. Mama. So I am basically going to build this. Uh, I am following a shulker craft tutorial. So if you guys are interested in that, I will link it down below. Please let me know if I forgot. Please, please tell me and I will fix it. Sometimes I forget and I always want to be giving credit to people. So please let me know. So yeah, I am going to very quickly build this spider spawner and I'll be right back. Enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for all of the super kind comments that you guys are leaving down in the comment section. Honestly, they warm my heart and I appreciate you so much. And also welcome all of the new viewers who are new to my channel and are enjoying the series so far. I appreciate you. And yeah, I'm really glad you're enjoying the series so far. All right. So as you can tell, XP farm is working. <laughs> So there are a lot of spiders in here and you know, I don't have the best sword for this, which I have a solution for, which I can show you guys later. Uh, but look at that XP guys, look at that XP. Actually, you know what I can do? Yeah, heal up that pickaxe. Heal it up, that's what I need. Thanks guys, appreciate it. But yeah, so here's my little area. I haven't really decorated it yet. I like making them look cute. But for now, not so cute. It's fine. Um, so yeah, it's fine for now. Okay, so I'm back. I have done some collecting. I have the the supplies that I need for this huge build, you guys. Actually, I don't have all the supplies. I have one thing I'm missing, and that one thing that I am missing is a, a couple shroom lights. So we have to go to the nether. So yeah, we're going to the nether and I'm excited about it. I love going to the nether these days. I used to be terrified of it. I'm still terrified, but just less terrified. And also I feel a little bit more confident in my abilities. Okay, out of here quickly. Okay, cool. We need to get into any biome with nether like trees. So hopefully we can do that today. Hopefully we don't lose our way either. I do think we're gonna have to go in more deep into this biome though. And this biome is a little bit dangerous, you know? It's a little scary sometimes, this biome, because of those giant pigs. Let's make our way over very carefully. Hopefully there are no giant pigs. Ah! Oh my God, I just got so spooked, but I forgot. It's because I forgot I was wearing a helmet. Ah, oh, you scared me, bud. Okay, that's enough. It's enough. Okay, let's let's head back and I am going to build. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm gonna build and then I'll jump into it and build it. This is one of the biggest builds I've done and I didn't follow any tutorial. I came up with it myself. I'm just very proud of myself. 
And I'm also very excited to add this build into my world because I think it looks really good. Anyway, you'll see, you'll see. I will see you guys in just a second when I get back home and I will explain what my next build is going to be. <laughs> Okay, so what I have planned, you guys, is I want to head over to the water's edge. And along this water's edge, I want to build like a wall slash dock area. And basically we're gonna have a little like fishing area. There's gonna be a little fishing hut where I can have a fishing villager who can sell stuff, but also just be there for decoration. We'll have a little sitting area and it's gonna go down to a little dock area. Anyway, it's kind of hard to explain. Let's just jump into the time lapse and you guys will just see for yourselves. You guys heard about the last event that I did, but I did an event where I tried to beat Minecraft with my super supporters, which is my YouTube members and my Twitch subscribers. We tried to beat Minecraft while chat was controlling the game. So they were, you know, spawning withers and they were bringing in creepers and they were just, you know, trying to blow us up with TNT. It was insane. And we are doing something very similar on February 5th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is a Saturday. If you guys are interested in actually helping me beat the Ender Dragon, then make sure you click on the link underneath the video. This is where you'll find more information of how you can sign up for the event. If you wanna participate, but you don't want to become a member or a Twitch subscriber, then you can just hang out within the Twitch chat and mess with things. And just so you know, the Twitch chat, you do not need to have any money for that if you wanna control the game. There are many options in the channel point area which is completely free so hopefully you guys are interested and I will see you on February 5th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so yeah this is my dock kind of it kind of looks like a bridge but it's a dock it comes down here we've got some beautiful plants a beautiful sitting area we've got some storage uh, we've got some fishies in here and then right here is where I'm going to actually put a fishing villager and one last little thing I need to add in here is that and then right here I also wanted to add this yeah so we have fishing nets here a couple little fishing nets here which I think are so cute if you kind of head this way we've got a couple more little fishies in there and little flowers area here and then this right here which is not fully complete yet but this is going to be my auto crop farm. So we basically need to get three villagers in here. We need to get a villager who's going to harvest the carrots. We need to get a villager who is going to harvest the potatoes. And then we need a guy in the middle because they throw the carrots or the crops at them and then it ends up in here. The thing is we got to get the villagers here first. So that is, you know, not that easy which is why i have these these here yeah we're gonna get a villager over there yeah also uh a zombie got in here and yeah we yeah i'll just have to deal with that later <laughs> okay so i'm gonna put a little minecart in there grab the villager let's go villager and off he goes okay go friend Whee! Block him like this. Actually, that could work. If I block him in, oh yeah, just so you know, there is glass all the way around this. It's just harder to see because I use vanilla tweaks. Okay, this is there. Oh, yes, go friend. No! Not that way! Oh darn, wow, I really should have thought that through. Oh darn. Oh, yes! Okay, wait. Okay, wait. He might be jumping in. He might just be doing it from Oh jeez. No! No! Ah! You would become a. You would. You would, you would, you would. Get in there! Go! Go! Good job. You're in. Cool. Now we just need to make you. We need to make you a farmer villager now. And then let's break these till he doesn't want this job anymore. Is it working? 
Yes! Okay, so he is now a farmer villager. Yes! Okay, so let's go grab our second villager, and then we just have to get a third villager. <sighs> Sometimes villagers really annoy me. Perfect. We do it on purpose. Go. Faster. I can't. Faster. I'm a villager, Faster. not a minecart. Go. Whee! Yeah, see, it's like a roller coaster, kinda. Thanks, I hate it. It's fun. No. Okay, so now the trick is to put a block here, put a block here, right? To block them in, and then just like that. And then as soon as he goes into the area he needs to be in, which is over here. Although, you know, it's nighttime, so he probably doesn't like it. So I'm just gonna go sleep really quick so that he picks that job. Did he pick the job yet? Oh, friend. I don't want to work. <sighs> he wants to go do something else, doesn't he? This way, friend. Oh, villager, you irritate me. Okay, maybe if I just like remove this and then place it again, it, he will take it. No. <gasps> Look. No. One extremely annoying villager later. Oh, the struggle. The struggle, the struggle, the struggle. Could you please just stop? There. Okay. Go on. Go on. Go on. Then let's just push you right on in there. Go on. Go on. So now, if I break this. Okay, that's not what I wanted, but. There. Roll by. <gasps> XD. Dang it! <laughs> I messed up. Oh! The struggle, you guys. Okay, let's get rid of these for a sec. Get rid of this one. Okay, good. That worked. Okay, shoot. Quickly now. We gotta lock them in. Quickly! Quickly, quickly, quickly. There. Now he's locked in. Oh my gosh. Now we just gotta go get our last villager. Okay, so this guy, we actually need him to be right in the center. So we need two rails. We need one here and we need one here. And then we have to put these. We have to put one here and then one here. And then we need for our friend to get in there. So I don't know, it's gonna be a bit tough, but we'll, we'll try our best. Okay, actually, I have such a good idea. Instead of trying to put it on top of there, we can go like that, and then it'll go over and then in. Perfect. Okay, this should work, hopefully. We'll see. Sometimes when you break them out of their minecart, they just kind of pop into a different area, and you're like, no, that's not where I wanted you. So that could end up happening, but hopefully not. Let's see. Take this and go like this and like this, and that's literally the thing. But I need to break this. So hopefully he doesn't just hop out. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it! Oh, That gets me annoyed. Where are you going? Oh, becoming a farmer. How predictable of you! I'm gonna just like put that there for a sec. Oh, <gasps> stop it! You stop it right now! You do not make a child. Do not make a child. No, 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 no. Please don't. Please. Good, it didn't work. Okay, good, good, good. Get this. Please. Please stop being so irritating. Please. I know you guys like each other and all, but can you please just get... Ugh! I want to put this right here so that I'm able to, like, quickly lock them in. Oh, yes, perfect. Okay, that's a start. Here, what about coming this way? Yeah, come this way. Yeah, come. Yes, good job. Now go that way. That way. That way. That way. That way. Yes! There. Oh my gosh. And then I can break that. I can break that. <gasps> Guys. It's complete. Your carrots. You can just take all these carrots. Enjoy. Also, here. Take that and that as well. Look at all that those carrots and potatoes for you here you go enjoy yes we'll only know if this uh farm is working if it is during the day because they do not exchange food at night okay so 
I need to go here. And we're gonna make... So we're gonna make a couple boats. One, two, three, four. So this is like kind of the final touch to this beautiful dock that I have. So we're just gonna put a boat there, boat there, and that one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think that looks pretty cool. Oh, I honestly think it looks so good, guys. I am so proud of this build. I think it looks fantastic. I absolutely love it. I think it really adds to my world. Like, oh, it just... And we can really see up the mountain, although I could maybe turn up my render distance. <laughs> Cause then we'd be able to see further up the mountain. But I'm thinking like, as we continue this series, we're just gonna end up going up this mountain, having little hobbit holes and castle, maybe a castle of some sort, or, you know, a wizard tower at the top or something. I don't even know, but I, I am so excited. Like, look at this view. I absolutely love this build and I'm super proud of it. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I just really like it. I'm excited to see if this ever starts Okay, I don't think the person in the middle can have a job, actually, now that I think about it. So I'm just gonna break all these quickly so that I can try to get rid of his job, because I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure he's not supposed to have a job. Did it work? Yes. Beautiful. That's amazing. Cool, so the one in the middle does not have a job, and basically what'll happen is they will continue to harvest, and as soon as their inventories are full, they'll start trading, and it'll all end up in here. I am not going to wait for that to happen in this episode because it does take a really long time for them to get full inventories, so... Um, hopefully it'll be happening by next episode. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if there's anything else that you think I could add to my dock area. Let me know if you're excited for the next episode by hitting the like or commenting down below or sharing and doing all those things because they are what help my channel grow and I appreciate it very much. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss any future uh, episodes as well. Check out my hardcore series and I want I want to give a quick shout out to my super supporters. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you very much. And uh, yeah, without you, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. So I love you guys. Also go check me out on Twitch. I do stream six days a week, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes I do chat controls my game where you guys can spawn creepers on me or it's just awesome, you guys. Trust me, you'll love it. Come hang out in chat. If you guys want to have like more of an interaction with me, that is where to go is Twitch. So I'll see you guys there <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!